Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you, wherever you're located. I know you all have a choice to decide which sessions to attend. I am grateful for the opportunity and really excited to talk to you all about protecting your critical IT assets with Azure Business Continuity and Disaster Recovery Solutions. My name is Vijay Potarla, and I lead the Azure BCDR product teams, including Azure Backup and Azure Site Recovery. We have a packed agenda today with a lot of exciting announcements. Without further ado, let's get started. We'll briefly touch upon why customers look at BCDR as a critical investment to protect their infra apps and data on Azure and on-prem estates. Then we'll jump into a number of announcements we have in terms of new workloads and scenarios we enable based on your feedback. I'm also excited to share announcements that help you optimize your BCDR costs, secure your data against a variety of threats, including ransomware, and do all of that across a number of scenarios that BCDR supports. Let's take a step back. Data protection. Data protection challenges have evolved rapidly over the last few years. During the pandemic, we have seen unprecedented growth in cloud adoption, thanks to digital transformation initiatives, driving greater dependence on cloud for protection against growing disruptions, and cybersecurity threats, and not to forget the compliance requirements. If I have to sum it up in terms of why customers choose BCDR, the number one is always security and compliance. Secure the backups and being able to have a confidence to recover your business critical apps and data from both outages and ransomware attacks. Now, do you want to achieve all of that with management at scale capabilities? and not having to manage a dedicated BCDR infrastructure, essentially moving from traditional CapEx model to OpEx models. Let me spend a few minutes to set the broader context in Azure to help showcase the combined value prop of BCDR and Azure, which together offer the best in class resilience to your apps and data. This is one of my favorite topics, failures. Failures you need resilience from. Let's look at some typical failures that our customers see that may lead to downtime for their applications. You see a trapezium on the slide. This trapezium shows the degree of impact that a failure can potentially cause. So while a power or a network outage may impact an entire data center or multiple data centers in a zone, something more catastrophic like a flood or earthquake can take down the entire region. All these failures impact your infrastructure, which comprises of your apps and data. Now, there's one thing that is common across, no matter what your deployment is, you will most likely have data. And the subset of data is going to be stateful. In other words, data which you need to get back to. The failures impacting these data sets look pretty much like this. And to draw a parallel, these two in some sense have varying degree of impact on the data. While on the left side, you see accidental deletion may lead to losing a file or folder. A rogue admin can wipe off not only your data, but also your backups. Thus, we need to build resilience against all these failures. And here's how you can achieve just that. You can opt for premium storage on the left side that allows for 99FI availability in case of a single VM deployment. You can up your resilience game with high availability structures. Deploy architecture in availability sets or AZs to get service level agreement SLAs up to 99.99 percentage. HA, high availability should be preferred for your mission critical apps, which have a very stringent RPO, RTO requirements, almost real time. You can go one step ahead to use Azure Site Recovery to implement a disaster recovery plan that protects apps against regional outages with minimum RPO and data residency. Now, you may ask, where does backup fit in here? None of the deployments you see yet on slide covers you for data failures. And that's because all of these deployments are almost constantly syncing data across. So if you have any data corruption happening and you need to go back in time to say a couple of days, you need to have backed up version to restore to a healthier version of data. Hence, we have a backup. That covers how Azure BCDR and other resiliency capabilities we enable give you best-in-class resiliency to your apps and data. 
enough of i going on and on about why azure and bcdr are best fit for all customer needs let's review what we heard from our customers directly on why they are choosing azure bcdr idc interviewed multiple organizations that are using microsoft azure site recovery and azure backup services first and foremost benefit that we heard from customers is is that resilience that azure infrastructure offers so we build bcdr on this highly resilient infrastructure so your data is protected with the resiliency across both single VM failures to the entire region failures. Now I'm excited to tell you that our customers see 337% ROI, return on investment in five years, while significantly improving the recovery time and IT efficiency. So that's a benefit that we think customers get out of Azure BCDR. All right, with that context and Azure BCDR value prop, Let's get into the fun part, the announcements. We structured the rest of presentation and announcements into two broad scenarios. Protect in Azure, which is built-in native Azure data protection through Azure Backup and Azure Site Recovery. The next scenario is Protect to Azure, where you can extend your on-premises BCDR strategy to Azure with help from our trusted BCDR partners and Azure Site Recovery in cases where you need low RTO based disaster recovery to cloud. I want to highlight that Azure BCDR and our trusted BCDR partners like Cornwall, Rubrik, and many more together offer the most comprehensive workload support across cloud and on-prem. Right, let's dive into product in Azure. Here's the first announcement. Azure VM Backup introduced enhanced policy earlier this year to provide protection for new class of high churn VMs like trusted VM capabilities that Azure has. The enhanced policy gives customers improved RPO to as low as four hours. Customers have the flexibility to choose the frequency of backups per day to optimize RPO and TCO based on your needs. We also heard your feedback on snapshot retention. So we have increased it to now to a max of 30 days from previously five days in our standard policy. This ensures customers get high performance of backup and restore for maximum number of days. Lastly, we have a more flexibility that we offer now with restores with cross subscription restore. With this, you can restore your Azure VMs to any subscription, boundary is tenant. So whether it is for your operational isolation or cost tracking, cross subscription restores would be a great fit for you. Another exciting announcement is that we are expanding the backup support for SAP HANA databases in two areas. The first one is support for large databases. These are databases that have data over six terabytes, powering high transactional workloads and often customers running advanced analytics. What this announcement means is customers can now run Azure backup for SAP HANA as a single solution to protect entire SAP HANA scale up estate in Azure VMs, irrespective of size and scale. To tell you more, we achieve this through a combination of app consistent incremental snapshots along with the log backups. In simpler words, this means backups and restores are instant. Also, these incremental snapshots and hence very cost effective. Now, there is good news customers don't need to have two solutions one for snapshots and one for logs but instead use a single solution to manage both. In short, Azure Backup for HANA is a single solution that offers best restore experience while being cost effective. I told you two announcements for SIP by HANA Backup Support. Here's the second. With support for HANA System Replication HSR, Azure Backup for SAP HANA can now be used for both mission-critical prod deployments, where typically the HSR is enabled, and non-prod deployments thus becoming a single backup solution for your HANA estate in Azure VMs. To put this in perspective, HANA system replication is a native high availability configuration that HANA supports, where systems stream data between two nodes of HANA. What's new with this announcement is that customers do not require any manual intervention when the failover happens. This means continued instant protection during failover and failback. All right, let's switch gears to cost optimization. Let's talk about managing your busy year costs. We know cost optimization is top of mind for you. 
we have an exciting set of cost optimizations for you without compromising on the data protection quality and flexibility. Let's jump right into it. Here's a complete picture of capabilities and best practices that can help you optimize your BCDR costs, starting from budgeting for backup costs and gaining granular cost insights through backup reports to using options like reserve pricing and intelligent hearing and to tuning the storage redundancy and policies. There are multiple ways we will deep dive in the next few minutes. Before you even start using Azure Backup, for budgeting your backup costs, you should always start with Azure Pricing Calculator on our website. And if you have a need to get a customized, elaborate BCDR cost estimate for a longer duration for your planning, you should download our detailed pricing calculator from the link given on the slide. This is a comprehensive tool to help you estimate your backup storage needs in the long run. It provides you trends that help you understand how your backup storage footprint could grow depending on the amount of data that churns in your environment. Lastly, you can customize more than 15 variables that gives you tailored experience for your needs. And by the way, we keep this tool updated with every new announcement so you can get the latest and greatest of our cost savings. Once you have a good understanding of your backup storage footprint, customers, you can take advantage of Azure Backup Reserve backup pricing option that can reduce your backup storage costs by up to 24% based on size and time frame commitments. This feature is built on Azure, Azure reservations to help you save money by committing to one year and three year plans. After you purchase the reservation, the discount automatically applies to matching resources. Total cost of upfront and monthly reservation is the same and customers don't pay any extra fees when choosing to pay monthly. Finally, Customers can use the same backup resort pricing across multiple subscriptions, which helps them maximize savings across subscriptions. But let's move and talk about wall redundancy. Wall redundancy is another key factor in deciding the quantum of costs on BCDR. While customers need highest level of durability and resiliency for their backup data, we know they do have use cases where cost versus durability trade-offs can be carefully considered to reduce costs. So when you start protecting with Azure Backup, you start with a vault. When you create vaults, the default is set to global redundant storage, GRS. However, for your dev test workloads, you may choose to run local redundant storage, LRS vault, if you do not need the same level of protection. As you know, LRS costs almost half of GRS. That's 50% savings right there. Choosing the right storage redundancy for different types of backup data can really help you optimize your costs. Another announcement is on this category is Azure BCDR is launching zonal redundancy storage, which falls between LRS and GRS redundancy. It's coming in Q3 calendar 22, which will help customers reduce their cost wherever business needs lower durability than GRS. Another lever to keep costs in check is to back up specific disks which have critical data. Currently, customers can use this backup feature available for Azure VM backups. Selective disk backup feature allows you to choose and backup only certain disks within your VMs. This helps reduce your backup storage footprint via two scenarios. When you need to protect only critical data in selected disks, or we have seen customers who need to backup only the OS disk. In both scenarios, you can really use this feature to reduce your costs. Inactive data sources, cloud waste, unused resources, is what we hear top of mind for our customers. In case of Azure VCDR, backing up inactive or deleted data sources can lead to unintended costs. In the backup reports, you can address this using an optimized tab, which shows a list of inactive deleted data sources, which help you identify unused resources and take appropriate actions like stop protection and delete or retain data. You should regularly audit inactive data sources, backups, and take advantage of our cost savings. Another lever is policy configurations that can significantly reduce your costs. They need to be used appropriately based on business criticality of your data. Another option that we have in optimized tab on Azure Backup Reports is to ensure you are using the right retention for different workloads and types. For example, 
you could choose to use weekly full and daily differential backups along with log backups for your databases. This helps reduce your storage footprint significantly. The restore experience is still unaffected by this as Azure Backup automatically picks up the right full differential and log backups, overlays them, and provides you the exact restore point you need at your chosen time down to a second. Also, you can choose to have lower retention for your dev test workloads if your compliance and business allow for it. Last but not the least, here's an effective way to save costs on your long-term retention data. Use the RCAP here. We have heard customer feedback to provide a simple and seamless experience to move long-term retention data to RCAP tier. And we have recently launched intelligent tiering to vault RCAP tier. With this feature, you can now ensure all eligible and recommended backup data is automatically moved to vault RCAP tier without any manual intervention. This significantly reduces your cost over time. All right, let's switch gears and talk about security. I'm sure all of you are aware of the continuous increase in the number of ransomware cases across the globe. These attacks have not only been increasing in frequency, but also in complexity and sophistication by the day. In recent surveys, some unpleasant statistics have come up, which show that in 2021, every 11 seconds, a company suffered a ransomware attack that have resulted in an average cost of 1.4 million to recover from them. Even with that sort of cost, only 57% of affected companies were able to recover their data successfully from their backups. Hence, it is imperative to make sure you have backups and they are well protected from any threats like ransomware or other malicious actors, whether internal or external. Here is a complete picture of comprehensive set of security capabilities that Azure BCDR offers. Azure BCDR can help you protect your BCDR data better by providing a host of security capabilities out of box, spanning across the left side, controlling who can access your data using Azure tools like multi-factor authorization and RBAC, as well as differentiated capabilities that we have on Azure BCDR like multi-user authorization, MUA. Tell you more, Azure BCDR ensures that your backups are performed and stored securely with various encryption options. Your BCDR data is always encrypted, and you have advanced options to choose if you have your own keys to encrypt your data at rest. You can also back up encrypted workloads like ADE encrypted VMs and TDE encrypted databases. Using private endpoints, you can perform backup of servers securely and privately from your virtual networks. Moreover, your backup data is kept isolated from your workloads in a separate tenant to prevent your backups from affected by any compromises to your production systems. This, along with secure access, helps with implementing a modern air gap for your backup data. We'll cover more about that. We are also introducing immutable walls that can help you make sure your backups in your walls cannot be deleted before their intended expiry. While soft delete feature that we uniquely offer gives you a chance to recover your data post deletions. And last but not the least, there are various built-in tools that can help you govern your BCDR data and its security, helping you to ensuring your compliance of security and data with Azure BCDR. Let's dive a little deeper into our security capabilities. All of Azure Backup and Azure Site Recovery use Azure Active Directory, AD, for identity management, for consistency. And this allows you to leverage features like multi-factor authorization, uh, role-based access control, RBAC, that help you with granular access control and also stay protected even if your credentials are compromised. Now, what's more? We recently introduced MUA, multi-user authorization, that allows you to add an additional layer of protection for operations that are considered BCDR critical operations that could potentially be used to cause loss of recovery points. So to perform such operations on the world, with this announcement, the backup admin now first needs to get the right set of permissions, which are enabled through our resource guard feature. MUA is now available for all backup walls. Let's talk about soft delete. 
Solve the data as, uh, as the name suggests, gives you a chance to recover data after its deletion. This month, we are launching the enhanced version of soft delete, which allows you to make soft delete irreversible or always on to make sure that no malicious actors can disable it to cause immediate deletion of backup data. Also, now you would be able to customize the duration for which you wish the soft delete to be soft delete data to be retained after deletion in your RS walls and backup walls. So that is both enhanced soft delete, giving you irreversible actions, and at the same time, you can customize the duration of the retention of soft delete data, giving you the ultimate flexibility. I'm also glad to announce a new production capability for your backup data called immutable walls, which help you ensure a recovery point once created cannot be deleted by anyone before its intended expiry as per the backup policy. Hence, any options that could lead to loss of recovery points, like modifying or changing policies to reduce retentions, or stopping backups or deleting backup data will not be permitted on immutable walls. This greatly helps you to protect your mission-critical backup data from ransomware attacks and other malicious activities. Another capability that I want to talk about is air gapping, modern air gap that we enable through Azure BCDR. If you are aware, air gapping is an important concept in the traditional backup world where backups are kept isolated from the production environments and are typically kept offline. However, this often leads to long durations to recover data in times and potentially lower reliability of recovery. Azure Backup tries to fulfill both of these needs of security and quicker reliable recovery by providing a modern air gap. Modern air gap, like traditional air gap, ensures your backup data is isolated from your production workloads and cannot be accessed directly except through the Vault APIs. However, it keeps the data online for quicker and reliable recovery. With various out-of-box features, you further strengthen the security of your backup data. This wraps our announcement in the first scenario, Protect in Azure through Azure Backup or Azure Site Recovery. Let's now jump into Protect to Azure through Azure Site Recovery and the offerings that our trusted BCDR partners offer. We have a couple of announcements in this area. The first one is we recently announced the GA general availability of modernized experience for our on-prem VMware disaster recovery to the cloud scenario using Azure Site Recovery. With this announcement, we now offer a simpler and more reliable way to protect your VMware virtual machines for recovering quickly from disasters. In other words, we have performed a major overhaul of our hybrid disaster recovery solution for mission critical workloads by making it easier for you to protect new workloads without the overhead of managing that protection. To be more specific, the new ASR replication appliance that we launched is easy to deploy, requires 50% fewer configuration steps to set up compared to the classic experience, and provides a much better discovery experience across multiple vCenters. Once onboarded, you can easily scale to add more servers by simply adding a new appliance without the need for setting up additional components. We have also reduced the ongoing management overhead by enabling automatic upgrade of the ASR replication appliance. And this can be upgraded outside business hours as well. Here's the good news. Existing customers can use our out-of-box migration tool to non-disruptively move their protected VMs to modernize DI experiences, all without losing the older recovery points. Last but not the least, you can leverage our trusted partner ecosystem to really extend your BCDR strategy to cloud. But there are a number of benefits of it. Whether you're backing up data and apps to Azure as offsite, or using Azure as a cost-effective DR site, or you're migrating to Azure and predicting in Azure, you can take advantage of your preferred BCDR solutions. And you can at the same time take advantage of all the cost savings, for example, Azure Storage offers while staying compliant. As you can see on the slide, we have several partners we support today, and the list continues to grow. All right, here's the, the summary slide I want to quickly go through before we wrap up the session. I've already covered some of these capabilities in the detailed presentation. But this is for you to sort of keep a record of all the new announcements that went out. So we have covered a number of areas 
and capabilities and announcements both in the areas of uh, our mission critical workload support that we have expanded uh, we have had a number of announcements we made in secure and resilient protection and finally to summarize we have a number of new announcements that allows you to optimize your cost with bcdr so please take a look at all these capabilities uh, on our website as well as documentation i do have a number of resources for you to go visit after this session again thank you for your time and appreciate the opportunity you have a great rest of the day